Welcome back to another episode. Um, today's gonna be... I'm just gonna be showing you some coding as per usual. Because <laughs> apparently I'm a coding vlogger. Um, no, but I really gotta... I, I want to finish this. Uh, I have to edit like five hours, six hours today as well. Just some videos that have to be done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be working on some more code. Then we're gonna go to the dentist again because I'm having issues with the the one tooth that I've worked on last time. I don't know what's that, um, what that's gonna be, but yeah, I guess that's gonna be the video for today. It's just gonna be coding and going to the dentist. <laughs> Nothing special, I'm sorry. Um, might be able to go to a bike ride as well because now it's not stormy anymore, hopefully. Yeah, so just been uh, doing a little bit of coding now before I have to go to the dentist. But look, I think this is so cool. These couple lines of code, just quickly, you know, written down, give you the option to just get all the variables printed out so you can just copy and paste them pretty much. That's probably an easier way, but now we have all the variables that we need. We have the turf pie function, for comparing the weather station uh, data with our search input. That's not, it's not linked yet to our main file, but um, so we now can actually compare search input with all the different weather station latitude and longitudes, get our uh, match if we run this code and we actually scroll down. So we now get our match. That's the closest one. Now we just have to compare uh, the match with the Excel slash data frame again to get the right link. That's just gonna be a little bit tedious because I'm gonna have to write uh, a couple of functions, I think, to just make sure that, you know, if that one checkbox click that it prints out or it gets the right one, because there's four different uh, links to each, um, to each weather station. So I'm still gonna have to think about how I wanna implement this, but I think we can make the the, the basic structure that happened. Now we gotta go to the dentist though and see what's uh, what's up with the, the tooth. So I just drove to the dentist that I've always gone to, my dentist of choice. <laughs> um, had my appointment, basically they told me what they've said before, um, it's come kind of true. So the wisdom te tooth that I had in there has kind of buried himself into the, the tooth in front. So it's not the biggest hole, but they fixed um, they fixed it last time, right? They've put a little fill fill in, um, but it's the nerve still um, sensitive to cold and hot and touch. So basically, they put some paste on that should uh, rebuild some enamel, and I gotta apply reapply some more every evening, which is gonna be fun. But fingers crossed, because if that doesn't work, uh, we're going back. Oh, we're gonna have a root treatment. I mean, they said that from the beginning that it's pretty, uh, pretty sure that they're gonna have to do it eventually. But if that works, then we don't have to. So that'd be that'd be quite cool. Now back to back to work. Alright everybody, um, thanks for watching, so this actually works now, which is cool, I mean it, it kind of works, it doesn't, as you can tell, I mean the scrolling isn't really great because uh, there's, I don't have it set so that it scales automatically, yeah, there we go, uh, that's just a temporary fix, but hey, we've got it to display all this, I mean the, the formatting isn't nice in all fairness, but it's on there, it works, um, it's dynamic, so whenever I update the weather data, um, uh, 
Excel list, then it should update this as well whenever we run this code, which is sweet. Um, anyways, this is going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Why can you not see the thing? I mean, it doesn't, to be fair, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. Um, coding big camp. Here we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace. And bye stream, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit. Is this bye? No, this.